Welcome to round four here at Liberty. John Mark versus Peter. Um, Peter is on the play. We both kept seven. Make sure you like and subscribe down there. <laughs> All right, uh, I will start off with playing Inspiring Vantage, tap it for Kamano. Do you want to your face? Sure. Yeah. All right. Good. Or go. I'm going to play a Plains into a Bodyguard, targeting nothing. Okay. Go ahead. I will... Play Needle Verge, then I will. Phoenix Chick comes in with a 1 1 counter. Pay 2 to what? Oh, uh, if it's in the graveyard, if I'm attacking the three creatures, I can pay 2. To bring it back? Yeah, bring it back. Counter. Yep. Uh, and then I will move to combat, swing 2 in the air. Oh, 19 over here. 17. Yep. And second main phase, I will light up the stage. Yeah. And your go. Draw. I'm gonna play a planes. I'm gonna play a Thalia. Oh. Good games, guys. Yep. Have a good one. See you, Zach. So play heading out too. So right, yep. See him. I got Thalia. And okay. Then swing for two. Okay. Yep, I will take. Go ahead. All right, my go. Yep. Oh, that's graveyard. Oh, completely forgot to uptick this stuff. My bad. All right, well, this is gonna flip over. It's a two-two. Yep, two-two. With haste. Yep. Uh, I will draw the turn. All right, I will. Did that come in with the plus one plus one counter, or only from the graveyard? It came in with oh, the plus one plus one from the yeah. come on okay. out. All right, uh, I will just pay two to play with fire. That. Yeah. And then I will shock this in, pay two. Okay. And. Oh wait, that's exiled, my bad, because of etching. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what my cards do. Um, I'll pay one to, I'll just. You kill the creature? Yeah, I'll kill the creature. That's exiled too? Yep. Okay. Swing for four? Yeah. Okay. All right, there is. 13. All right, your go. I won. Draw. Okay, decisions. Um, <clears throat> play land for turn. And. I'm going to Cathar your Phoenix. Yep. It's daytime. And go ahead. <coughs> 13. All right, I will tap three, play Chandra Dress to kill. Okay. Uh, it comes in with three loyalty. I'll uptick it to four, do one to your face. Sure. And I get one red floating. I will then use Spectacle Cost Skewer to kill that. Yeah. That is exiled. Oh, that's right. Alright, and then I will play Land for Churn, tap to play Kamano. That yeah. does one to your face. Sure. Time to 11. Give me 4 4? Yep. Or, er, uh, 3. 3? Down to 8. Alright. Your go. Draw. Land for turn. We are going to do this. 
quite hopeful this year. Okay. Hey, and Adeline. Okay. So that's a two, four? Two, four. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to pass my turn. All right. I'm just going to make sure I keep track of this better. So that's on two now. Mm -hmm. Draw for turn. What's its two? Uh, next creature I cast gets a plus one, plus one counter okay. on it. Uh, I'm going to uptick Chandra to XL top card. If it's red, I get to cast it this turn. Or okay. I can cast it. So XL top card. That is red. So I'll play another Kamano. All the Kamano. Yes, all of them. All right, and that does three. Or, sorry, not three. <laughs> One to your face. Yep. Down to seven. seven. <coughs> hmm. How many cards in hand? Oh, uh, two. Yeah, but your curve is much lower. Yeah, it's a nine. I have a couple four drops in my hand. I'll move to combat. Yep. Swing with both. Lock here. Okay. Uh, in response, I'm going to Bone Crusher Giant that. So yeah. they that still gets exiled, but this dies. All right. And say he's taking an adventure over here. Okay. And you take one from Phoenix. Six. All right. Your go. Go to game two. Okay. I'm guessing the heavy removal is just really tough it's to good. deal with. Fair. I'm sure I'll be seeing some portable holes in my future. You might. I will play. Sounds good to me. Citing it is going to be any good. It's okay, same. It's all right. <laughs> it's, I'm trying stuff, so. At least, at least I get even colored spells, right? Or yeah. Even, even numbered spells. <laughs> I think it's cool. Yeah. It's like, especially with like the spectacle cost spells, it works out really well. You just pay three to put it in your hand? Yeah. Yep. This is what Peter's playing, guys. We'll see if what I sided in does stuff. Let me count my sideboard, make sure. Alright, 
right, cool. Yeah. So what do you think are like the big weaknesses of white weenie? Um, one is instant removal um, is a huge weakness right now. Um, <clears throat> we don't have any like ramp and in Pioneer we don't have fetch lands, which sucks because like before I would run eight to 10 fetches. Yeah. So you're just drawing gas all the time. Um, I think recruitment officer will help with gas when I get those, but I still have to hit four mana for that. So it's mm -hmm. more of like a, a three, like a closer to mid-range white aggro like. deck. Um, but other than that, I mean, they have incredible utility. Humans, though, um, if you're not playing Abs and Falconer, like, not having flying sucks. Because there's not evasion. Yeah. So you have to go wide. Um, we're also weak against, like, board wipe. <clears throat> so you have to play around that. Do you have any, like, forms of card advantage with that? Uh, not really. Not in this build. I will keep this. Um, same. Good? Yeah. I'm going to play Planes and a Soldier of the Pantheon. Go ahead. Okay. That and low toughness is another. Yeah. Especially for early starts and stuff. Which makes it really hard against red. Phoenix Chick. Yep. One. Oh, I'm going to reset these. Oh. I'll just move yours to 19. Seems good. Good? Yep. Uh, my hand background. I am going to play here. Now, one thing I'm curious about is this: does this actually count as multicolored? I would think so. Yes. Okay. It's, it's yeah. a black and red card. I'm gonna name Soldier of the Pantheon. And I'm gonna name good. Dauntless Bodyguard. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna hit you for two. Sounds like a plan. Um, go ahead. Yeah, white, white has to win, like, white weenie has to win on, like, turn three or four. Yeah. Because, like, mid-range is a huge weakness. Control's not a huge weakness, especially with Dahlia. But mid-range hurts. So how does the protection work? You have to, like, sack it? Yep. So I have to sacrifice this one to make sure. It's just because it's indestructible. And then, um, but this will go. So I can, like, block and sack it. But... Yeah. Interesting. It is death touch or whatever. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, I will... I'm gonna pay one to spike field this. Sure. So that exiles it. And I will. That's tricky. Um... I'm gonna shock in Sacred Foundry, go to 16. Then do it again to that. Yeah. Um. I'll can I just sack this? In I think you can actually. Yeah. If you want to do that to the other one too. That's all right. I don't have any recursion. I just wondered for for flavor purposes. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah then it wouldn't be exiled, I guess. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, swing at you for one. Yeah. Down to eighteen. All right, your go. You're good. Okay. Draw. Okay. I'm going to play a Mutabolt. Um, going to Cathari your Phoenix. Yep. And then hit you for two. I will take it. 14. Go ahead. Don't tell anyone, but mono white mid range is probably way better than white weenie. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right, oh, I'm going to tap one to Kamado. Yep. So it does one to you. Sub T. And then I will tap one to Rending Volley that. Yeah. All right, get this and back. Stay, which I forgot. And I will swing at you for one. Yeah, I'll go down to 16. All right, your go. Gonna play a land for turn. I'm gonna activate my mutabolt. Yep. And I'm gonna go ahead and swing for four. Sounds good. Um, go ahead. Yeah. 
Oh, this is on two. I mean, you could say keeping a land. I will swing at you for one and pass. Flanked. Okay. Portable? Okay. Um. Yep. Here. Heel sideboard. Uh, bone crusher giant that. Pro red. Okay. So this is graveyarded. And I'll take four. Uh, six. My go? Yep. If this flips. I've had the hardest time stopping both of them. I'm curious how this works, but. Only played this card maybe a couple times, yeah. so I'm gonna play this as a land. Okay. Tap. Not very nice, Craig. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna swing for two. Yeah, 13. All right. Second main phase, I'm going to tap for <coughs> Spectacle, kill that. Yeah. Or er, exile. exile, yeah. And pass. You have two open and two cards? Yeah. Uh, the ball. Okay. Call is Lieutenant. What does that do? Um, it puts plus one, plus one on every other human I control. Okay. Um... Move to combat? Yep. Swing three? Yeah. Alright, uh, I will take three. Ooh. Scary. Yeah. On your end step, I am going to Bone Crusher Giant that. That is exiled. That's right. This is on an adventure over here. Go ahead. Go. I will play that. I'm just gonna bring out Bone Crusher Giant Swing for two. Yep. Down to 11. Your go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, good game. Yeah, <laughs> that was wild. Oh man, okay. <clears throat> Could go better on the play for me now, I guess, but. Yeah, this might just be one of those matchups. It's just like whoever's on the play. Yeah, so one of my favorite times in Standard was um, during Scars and Mirrodin. Yeah. And back then, Tempered Steel was an awesome deck and Elves was an awesome deck. And in, in testing and in, like tournament play, it was whoever went turn one. Yeah. And it was just tons and tons of fun. Yeah, a lot of aggro matchups are like that. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, when you were playing goblins, that it'd be a lot closer. Yeah. Especially because Thalia is not going to hit most things, so I'd probably side her out. Yeah. It's like I play. Yeah, I, I, I reduced the land count on it. I tried 30 or 22, but it just felt so bad. Mm -hmm. It's like I really need to hit a land drop in that deck like every turn. Yeah. So it's like I'm running 23 on it. So. Because you have a lot of stuff in the three drop slot. That's the problem with like a lot of white decks right now is that we have so many awesome cards that compete for that three drop slot. Yeah. Whether you're playing standard or you're playing pioneer, it's like man, there's so much good stuff. Yeah. Just play 24 land and play like a bunch of three drops. I feel like goblins is just so close to being like really good, but it's not quite there. I think aggro is always going to be tier two. Yeah. Like we're not going to be as consistent as mid range or combo or control. But Goblin should definitely have a plus against control, especially with pile driver and stuff. Oh yeah. Swing for like fifteen. Yeah. I don't know, my buddy he was playing Lotus Field and it's like 
every time I play goblins, I don't think he's ever beat it with Lotus Field. Yeah. It's like I just go right under it and I can like lethal him on like turn three. Yeah. Because of the pile driver? Yeah, pile driver and just other goblins. Yeah. It's like I can go wide so fast. Yeah. So. It's definitely my most fun deck I've ever built, so. Tempered Seal or Quest for the Holy Relic was my favorite deck I've ever built. Well, that's not true. There was also a Landfall one in Standard during Zendikar and Shards of Alara that I loved. They ran 16 lands, only 8 of which tap for mana. <laughs> that's hilarious. It was awesome. I, I went up to 18 because I didn't have faith in the deck I saw, so I approved, Like I was like, I don't know, man. Like That's pretty tough. <laughs> the only card that cost 3 mana was Core Hookmaster, which was a 2-2 for 3, and when it comes into play, it taps down a creature until... Um, on your turn until the game of their next turn. So it's tapped down twice. Yeah. And Stasis, I think they call that now or something. Um, but it was, that was my only three drop, and that was a finisher because, like, I was winning on, like, turn three and four, like, all the time. Good luck, Pete. You too. This time I'll remember before. I keep. I'll keep. Uh, yeah, this is like when you see this thing happen every single <coughs> turn. Phoenix trick hits you for one. Yep. <laughs> it's three games in a row. 19. Uh, yep. Uh, land. Initiate. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Alright, uh, move to combat yeah. swing. Hit you for one. 18. Second main phase, light up the stage. Yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. Uh, I'll just drop the mountain. Tap it to spike field that. So exiled. And uh, your go. Land. Hopeful initiate. Okay. Portable hole. Yep. Go ahead. I'll drop first before doing other stuff. Uh, Battlefield Forge. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just play it now. Uh, I'll take one to get white. Okay. Wedding announcement? Yeah. Uh, two or more creatures this turn draw a card, otherwise create 1 1. So uh, I get to create 1 1. Sure. And your go. Um, uh, Lunar Gasparin. Okay. Getting a combat. Put that here. Yep. Swing two. I'll take. Go ahead. That's at one also. Yep. Yeah. Um, then I will tap one to skewer that. Or not skewer, but yeah, I guess it is skewer. Brave, right? Brave. Um, in response to Brave, I will tap take one to play with fire that. Sure. Is that exiled or no? Uh, that is not exiled, and then end step, I get to make a... I'm just going to use the back of these. You can't Brave and Fire this. Can I not? No, because all my creatures have Pro Red. Oh, uh, it's in response. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, never mind. Uh, I get to make a. Why don't play control. Yeah. <laughs> Stacks. Yeah. All right, uh, this is at two, and your go. Land for turn. Dolly is lieutenant. Okay. Two. Man, giving everything all the counters. Doing the white things. Yeah. Um, go ahead and move to combat. Yep. Swing three. Uh, I will chump. Okay. One. And go ahead. All right. Mm. 
going to go back to my hand. I'll swing one. Okay. No blocks. Okay. Second main phase. I will light up the stage. Yeah. That card's sick. Am I missing something? Where was Kamano at? I think that should have flipped. Shoot, we'll just... I don't remember. When did I play that? I'm sorry. It's probably flipped. You can flip it. I'm not worried about it. Okay. I don't remember. Me neither. Can't wait for the comments, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to attack with it, so it's whatever. Shit happens. Imagine playing a perfect game of Magic. Yeah. Couldn't be me. Alright, well, I might as well play this for Landis' turn. Then... You can play your guy too, can't you? I can play the guy, but... I think I'm gonna hold off. Okay. Gonna do it now. I'm gonna Bone Crusher Giant that. Oh, uh, brave. Okay. I mean, it's out of your hand, so this is actually just in the graveyard then. Is it? Yeah, because um, it's not a valid target anymore. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, uh, end step. This flips to three. I get another dork. And... They all get plus one, plus one? Is that what it does? Yeah, everything gets plus one, plus one. Yep. Good? Yep, we're good. Ooh. Here? Yep. I'm gonna flip this, because if I get it back... If you want, if you get a force or like... Uh, it's a one two. They're these are two twos. Oh, that's the two three. That's yeah. Right. That would be a two three. Oh, it's not in play though. Yeah. Yeah, it's not in play, play yet. Okay. Um, two twos. I don't know if there's a better place to put that, but it's alright. Um, pass turn. Okay. Is this exile then? That is because it an exile. Because it doesn't come back as a creature. Correct. So it's just gone? Uh, it's not gone, it's exiled under. So when this creature in the battlefield turns for exile target creature remote control until this creature leaves the battlefield. No. Oh. So. Hey, Matt. Yeah, that's a good question. If I exile uh, Kumano, um, as it's Kumano, it just is gone, right? Because it can't flip back to the. Or does it come back as the. It comes back as the creature then, you don't have to flip it. I don't think right. so because it, so yeah. brutal Cathar. So, and it's on the creature side, right? Right. Yeah. And it just stays the creature side, or no, it goes. So it's always the front face of the card. Mm -hmm. So if it, if you kill the Cathar, this is, it will come back as a champion. But it can't come back as a champion, right? Because it's a creature. The creature returns to the battlefield. No, the creature doesn't return. Okay. Brutal Cathar just says exile it, and if this leaves the battlefield, it comes back. Right? Okay. It says the uh, exile of the creature until this is gone. Yeah, so it'll come back <coughs> as the enchantment. Okay, I just want to make sure. And then you'll get the counter and trigger it. Yeah, creatures. sounds good. Thank you. Um, All right, uh, yeah, tap, bring out Swift Spear. That is a 2 3. Hmm. Give me decisions to make. All right, uh, I'm gonna tap one. I'm just gonna get rid of this now. Branding volley that. Um, I'm gonna. Oh shit, I can't. Never mind. It's going to. All right, this gets prowess trigger. I'm going to swing. So these are two, two, and this is. So seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. So it's. Yeah. Go down. All right, your go. Putting you on top deck mode. Not the best one. Uh, four. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, go ahead. Is that... Okay. Ooh, interesting. 
All right, uh, Denebucker tapped. Take one to float, do white. Eleven. Play another whiting announcement. This prowess trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, swing with the crowd, so that's seven again. Yeah, time to two. And because I attacked with two or more creatures, I get the draw card. Okay. Uh, end step. Tap to play Soulscar. Okay. And your go. That's your game, man. Oh, good game. Nice job. I was like really unsure about the wedding announcement sideboard for that matchup, but it seemed to work. Well, you drop bodies, and that's. Yeah. It, if anything. Yeah, like just being able to chump two turns yeah. is a huge deal. And a 3 3. Like, I've, <laughs> I've struggled because I've never played that. I've never.